Also now at 11, American heroes gather at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force. The Doolittle Raiders are commemorating their famous World War II bombing run at the museum with a day full of celebration. It began earlier this afternoon with a B-25 flyover and continues throughout the day. Robert Lowry was at the final toast. He has our top story at 11. A bottle of 1896 cognac is shared among the remaining survivors of the Doolittle Raiders. That's also the same year General Jimmy Doolittle, the man behind the historic bombings in Japan, was born. It is a tradition that started the year after World War II ended. Tonight, they raised a final glass for the men who continue to inspire airmen today. Gentlemen, I propose a toast to those we lost on the mission and those who have passed away since. Thank you very much, and may they rest in peace. 71 years after their historic mission, three of the 80 Doolittle Raiders make a final toast to their fellow airmen, gone but not forgotten. Crew number one, James Doolittle. Their names read before every toast that has come before, forever enshrined on these goblets. For the last time, these men are drinking in memory of the mission that helped turn the tide of the war in the Pacific decades ago, still so fresh in their memories. They were waving to us. We could see, I was flying so low, I could see the expressions on their faces. They were cheering, expected their, to be their own airplane together. We had a headwind. And we didn't think we were going to make the coast. And during that flight, that wind, on a 180 degree turn, became a tailwind, and we made the coast. Not even knowing what was intended for them, the Doolittle Raiders volunteered for the mission, only knowing it was dangerous, a notion that is still inspiring airmen today. It'll just keep rolling, and it'll be passed from generation to generation to generation, and 500 years from now, American airmen are going to be toasting the Raiders. With so many memories and so many stories to tell, it's impossible not to feel the historical significance. Given the chance to do it again. If the country was in peril, like it was, I think I would. This concludes the ceremony and also completes a mission. One of the final four surviving Doolittle Raiders was unable to attend tonight's ceremony, but was able to watch from his home. The goblets used for the annual toast are being held at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.